we couldn't miss Gudeg. This is an iconic dish here in Jogjakarta, one of the symbols of Jogjakarta. This is incredible. This is where they make pia. Everything is cooked over charcoal in the traditional way. This is an institution here in Jogjakarta. She's the local legend. She's the one behind this creation, the Mangut Lele. Buongiorno, guys. It's Max Sinestra. I finally made it to Jogjakarta, the cultural capital of Java. This city is super famous for its traditions, culture and history, but today I'm here for the food. Andiamo! Buongiorno guys, it's uh, 6 o'clock in the morning and uh, for the first place of the day we came to the legend Mbah Satinem to try their famous lupis. So this lady is super famous, has been selling it for many, many years. I'll tell you a couple of stories later on. Now I think it's my turn because as soon as you arrive, you need to grab your number. Two. Uh, two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ma can you see Oh, pala. In here, the apple. Oh, cinco. Okay. Yeah, champu. See, she mixes everything. Nigula Jawa. Yeah. Oh, nice. Rimakashi, it's finally ready, the famous loopies. Look, I love how carefully and patiently she uh, mixes all the ingredients. I don't know actually what exactly goes in, but definitely I can see compressed sticky rice, coconut, another ingredient, and then super thick, almost caramelized palm sugar. Let's give it a bit of a mix. Oh, I really need to get a bit of the loopies, a bit of everything. Here we are. Buon appetito. Oh, oh my God, so good. And a banga. Oh, wow. Really good, huh? Oh. The gula, the gula jawa is so good. Oh, my God. That's really, really nice. I think what makes the difference is definitely the gula jawa, the palm sugar super thick, caramelized, almost like caramel. And the consistency of the, all the other ingredients, kind of hard, but jelly-like at the same time. And the loop is the sticky rice cake. Oh, mamma mia. So coconutty, not too sweet, very well balanced. I've been wanting to come here for a very long time. I'm just so happy. And being able to enjoy next to her, next to the legend herself, is priceless. Another fun story about this place is that during President Suarto era, one of his uh, assistants came here uh, to eat lupis and he took one to President Suarto to try it. He loved it that much that after that he became a regular together with his family. That's how this place and this lady became so popular. And after that they shot the video of uh, Street Food Asia here in Jogjakarta. Love the dish, simple but super delicious, still made the traditional way. Really, really cool. Panja <laughs> humor, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Mari. Oh, what an incredible experience. Oh my God, I can't believe I came here. And now we're going for more. Pagi, pagi bu. Oh, saya mau satu komplit? Oh, yeah. iya. Oh, telur temp. It, itu uh, gudeg? Eh, ini gudeg. Gudeg, iya. Ini. Tahu, iya. Gudeg. Telur. Telur. Ayamnya yang bagian apa nih? Iya. Ini kerecek? Kerecek, iya. Oh, bagus. Ini mau? Iya. Sedikit, ya? Oh, yeah. We're getting uh, the full plate. Terima kasih, Bu. Yeah, I mean. And for our second location of the day, 
we couldn't miss Gudeg. This is an iconic dish here in Jogjakarta. One of the symbols of Jogjakarta. What is Gudeg? This one. This is young and ripe jackfruit stewed in palm sugar and coconut milk. So with some vegetables. Here we have a kerchuk, which is a cow skin cooked with sambal and other spices. We have tofu, we have egg, chicken, rice. Oh, this is a huge plate. Oh, we have potato as well. Stinky beans. Green chilies, oh yes, we got it all. Oh, what a plate. All right, what I really want to go first is the jackfruit. I really want to try it out. By the way, this is another legendary spot here in Jogjakarta. It's been selling gudeg for a very long time. The owner, Bolindu, is said that he's the oldest gudeg seller in the old Jogjakarta. All right, stop talking, Max. Buon appetito. Enak, boo. Enak. Enak, Oh, so nice. It's actually not too sweet. A bit of sweetness and a bit of bitterness on the veggies. Oh, what a contrast. By the way, this really looks like meat. It's like eating meat. First time trying good here in Jogjakarta. Now let's try to mix and match a bit of everything. You know what, well, let's get a bit of the green chili too. Mm. Oh. Oh, wow. This is quite intense. Oh my goodness. The kerchuk, the cow skin with the tofu and the tempeh, it's quite intense. Spicy, a bit sweet with a unique aftertaste. I have to be honest with them. Oh, and the stinky beans. Mamma mia. Okay, let's go for another bite. Stinky beans, egg. Mm -mm. I'm a huge fan of stinky beans, but these potatoes are quite intense. I, I, I can tell that my mouth is smelling so bad. I surely won't be happy about it. Oh. And by the way, it's so delicious. Everything goes well, perfectly together. I really love it. It's not too sweet. You would expect Jogjakarta food a lot sweeter, but this is actually not too sweet. What an incredible dish. This is one of the institutions here in uh, Jogjakarta. Come and pay a visit. Now this stall has been uh, running by the daughter of Bolindu. God knows how many years they've been doing this. Super delicious. It's packed, full of people, and uh, really, what an incredible experience. And now we're going for more. And now another special moment. We came to the factory of Bakpia, which is an icon, a symbol of George Jakarta at Bakpia Patok 25. Let's go. We just got invited inside the factory to see part of the making of the bakpia. Oh, wow. oh, mamma mia. Take a look. Look at this. Hello, c'est moi. Oh, wow. This is incredible. So this is where they make pia. This is the dough and they want to stuff one by one. Where well, they have different flavors. The traditional one is with the mam beans. Then they have durian, chocolate, cheese. Look. Everyone working seamlessly. Wow, what a fantastic production. This is definitely on a large scale. And here where they make the chocolate bakpia. You need chocolate. Oh, nice. See the stuff in it. They have these huge blocks of chocolate. They use 100% cacao and they make it into kind of dough-like. And everything is from Indonesia. And then they have these tiny little balls like gnocchi. <laughs> Jogja gnocchi. They stuff it with chocolate, with the filling. And over here, the gentlemen are making the traditional one, the original one, bakpia with the mam beans. I'm completely blown away by the production and I'm like a happy kid in a toy store. Here we have the flour they use to make the dough. But, very important fact, let's come to this section. Hello, c'est moi. Hello. Oh, this is the oven. They used to bake the bakpia. Look, they bake the flour. They bake the flour first, as a, according to them, they enhance the flavor of the bakpia. And look, everything is cooked over charcoal in the traditional way. This is pure Jogja. 
When I see something like that, this is pure Georgia. Traditions still kept to this day. Unbelievable, really. Oh, look at the back pier. Yeah. Oh, you can see the kind of the stamp that is almost done. And then they flip them to cook them evenly. They use pure instinct. There's no timing. They just feel them. They've been doing this for many, many years. Wow, this is incredible. Oh, Uda. Oh, they're done. I hope this tradition will last forever. Amazing. Now they're going to cook. Boom. The pia. And look, look at what they're using. Uh, train rails. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Train rails for the oven to slide the uh, tray in. Unbelievable. For 44 years they've been using this. Super traditional, super old school. We're reaching another section. And this is oh. the generation line. What was the first one? This is first generation. All right. Second generation, third generation. The Chinese community, yes. they put picture on the wall when the person has passed away. Passed away. All right. This is our family name. Okay. Set that on. Cool. Thanks a lot. And over here, uh, we had the packing. The packing. So here, they're packing the pier, the back pier ready to be distributed, delivered to other shops. And now after seeing all the production, I'm here to try the Mandim Pia, the traditional one. Oh, it's still warm. Look how crunchy and crispy on the outside. All right, buon appetito. Mm -hmm. Oh, some mushy on the inside and crunchy on the outside. And I can taste a bit of coconut. Very elegant, smooth. And this is the icon, the symbol of Giorgiacarta. Pia, once you taste this, it's like you've been to Georgia. And what Lao Tan, one of the owners, just told us is that what this Pia actually gives to people is love and a piece of memory, a piece of Georgia that they take home with them. Amazing. Let's try the one with durian as well. It's quite strong. Nice. This, this is even better. This is even better. It's my favorite. I love durian. Yeah. Oh, man. This is uh, in premium durian. Premium means premium. So premium durian. Yes, premium durian. And now it's season. It's in season, so you got it's the season. best for the best. So It creamy. is not essence. Pure durian. Amazing, amazing. So delicious. Oh, man. It's so nice. It's so nice. Wow. What an amazing experience. And I got also some pia for myself. And uh, I just want to say this was an incredible experience. If you come to Georgia, come and pay a visit, buy some pia, and you'll love it. And I just want to say, please come here. Thank you so much to Lautan, which is a part of the family yep. that owns the business. Thank you so much. Eh? Bella ciao. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Andiamo. Yeah. Andiamo. Andiamo. <laughs> eh, thanks for coming. My pleasure. My pleasure. The next location is very special. I've been wanting to come here for a very long time many many years and the day has finally come we can dip in the village for a very special dish come with me this is where they grill the lele hello hello pa hello semua oh lele <laughs> oh so this is the lele the catfish the famous catfish oh with coconut shells lele sate <laughs> They're so nice and friendly. Suda berapa lama di sini? Sudah tahun 68. Oh, look, this is an institution here in Jogjakarta. And what I love about it is that they still cook the traditional way. This is so nice and fascinating. Oh, let's get into the kitchen. Hello, semua. Hello. Hello. 
Oh, sana? Betul. Alright. Oke, okay, terima kasih. Oh. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Take a look, super traditional. Mount Lele. Yeah. Beautiful. Look. So these are the Lele catfish. They smoke it first, grill them, and they dunk them in a super spicy coconut meat sauce. This one here. But there's bang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Banyak uh, rempah. Ada santan. Yeah, kita pakai santan. And here is where they grind the um, spices for the catfish. Here we have garlic, shallots, and nutmeg. And this is how it becomes, like a thick paste. And now I want to go inside and order because I saw in front of me there's so many delicious dishes. Ambil sendiri? Yes, like All I'm right. Eating the rice. Yes, I guess some rice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Champo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spicy? Oh, yeah, with sambal. Just one or two? Two. Two. Oh, mantap. But do you want krecek? Krecek? Jack, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sedikit, yeah. Tofu, fried tempe with in the beef. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Little spicy. Little spicy. Yes. Beautiful. We got krecek. Okay. We got some jackfruit. Some... Ini ada tofu, fried tempe with in the egg. All right, let's get a bit of everything. Oh, beautiful color. I think uh, this and make vegetable. Mm, it's okay. It's, uh, it's full already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Flat, no problem. Terima kasih banyak ya. Sama-sama. I'm going out and uh, try this super famous mangut lele bomarto, which is uh, a legend here in Jakarta. Andiamo. And this is the legendary bomarto. Alumba, she's uh, she's the local legend. Uh, she's the one behind this uh, creation, the Mangut Lele. The reason why we're here. Oh my goodness, she's still uh, cooking and helping in the kitchen. The best. And a bangat. Enak. <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. And finally, it's time to taste this super famous Mount Lele. We went to the kitchen, we saw everything. We also met the legend behind this creation. We also saw the station where they grill and smoke the Lele. And now it's time to eat. Looks super mega spicy. This Lele, this catfish is uh, of course clean first, then smoked and grilled and covered in this super mega, super spicy coconut milk sauce. Then over here, because they also sell uh, many other dishes, they have opor, which is uh, a technique of cooking with uh, coconut milk. We have egg, tempeh, this is young jackfruit with the cassava leaves, and this is krecek, which is like a cow skin with tempeh and tofu. All right, but you know the real deal, right? The lele, the catfish. Let's go for it. Ooh, nice chunk of. Ooh, wow, it's quite meaty. Let's get a bit of the chili. Buon appetito. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh my god, what's going on in my mouth? And a banger. So good. Oh, manis. But this, uh, asap, asap, oh, bersama. Yeah, so good. Smoky, sweet, kind of charcoaly, spicy. Oh, all combined with the touch of coconut milk in it. It's perfect. I was a bit intimidated before because um, I thought it was going to be extra mega spicy. Actually, it's not. Now let's try something more. Let's try to mix and match. Upala. See the jackfruit, cassava, tofu. Mm -hmm. Oh, the harmony, the joy between all the spices and ingredients together. It is fantastic. My mouth is dancing. Mba Marto is over there. Look, so she's uh, peeling the garlic. Mba, ena bangat, ena. Yeah, bagus. <laughs> She's so sweet. And now I want to try the opor over here. 
bit of the egg, tempe, and a bit of the catfish. This is illegal. I've been wanting to come to this place for many, many years. I can't believe I'm here right now. Mm. 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 No, this is one of those dishes that as soon as it touches your tongue, you can already tell how delicious it is. And this is proper home cooking. They cook the old fashioned way, super traditional with firewood. I just can't believe how happy I am because of the food, because of the people. They're so nice and friendly. This is what happiness is about right now. Hello. Say a mao. Satu Rujak ice cream. Yeah. Ice cream big in this in So we came to have a very unique dessert, Rujak, which is a mix of fruits, sour fruits with ice cream in it. They make ice cream here and the Rujak as well. It's a very unique combination. Oh, nice. Prima casipa. Let's try this unique dessert, Rujak ice cream. Rujak with the ice cream. Oh, wow. I cannot imagine this combination, but it's quite popular in town, so let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, it's actually nice. So you have the hint of sourness from the fruit and very sweet from the ice cream, and I love the consistency. The fact that it's extra creamy. Pa, enak. <laughs> I love you. And I've been told to add the beer of the sambal. This is so unique. Sambal inside a dessert. Let's mix up everything. Let's try not to make a mess. Mmm. Mm. Oh wow. You need sambal orek. Oh. Oh, sayasuka. Oh, but that's sediki. It's not too spicy, but. The combination all together, oh, it matches. And for dinner, we came to a super local neighborhood to have a traditional noodle dish, Bak Mijawa. Let's see how they make it. Malam pa. Malam pa. Hello. Yeah. Bami Jawa. Yeah. Oh, bole uh, pesan satu pake kuah. Yeah. Satu goreng. Oh. Okay. Pedas, yeah? Yeah. So this place is so cool because they use the back of the house, you know, where they place tables and the um, push cart and they make noodles still the traditional way with charcoal. We need but one put it. Yeah. But... Oh. I am, I am kampung. Yeah. Oh, nice free range chicken. Chili, tomato, cabbage. Oh, spicy. Oh. <laughs> it smells spicy. And this is kua. Yeah. The special broth, chicken broth. Oh, the lot. Oh, noodles. Su da propa lama di finipa. Splastano. Oh, se blastano. Oh, lama. Yeah. On top. Oh, it's getting thicker. Beautiful. The soupy one is done. With chicken, mixed veggies, chili, and uh, duck egg. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, we're making the fried one. Oh, the smell of garlic and chili. Oh, so good. Nice, another duck egg. <laughs> Two types of noodles. We need ketchup manis. Ketchup manis. Oh, okay. Mixing it up. The charcoal will give the extra smoky flavor to it. And it's done. Finish it off with some parsley, shallots, and pico cucumber. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. The two glorious bowls of noodles are here. Over here we have uh, Bak Mijawa with the soup. So we have a mix of veggies, free range chicken, a oh, mouth watery. Two types of noodles. We have uh, egg noodles, uh, glass noodles, duck egg, oh, chili, 
chili because I asked for the spicy version and the special broth, chicken broth. Then it's been topped off with fried shallots, parsley, and uh, I believe these are achar, pickles. Over here, exactly the same version, but uh, goren, so the fried one, he just uh, added a bit of uh, sweet soy sauce, ketchup manis, and the rest is the same. And now I really want to try this traditional dish, very local, it's typical central Javanese, especially from Georgia. Okay, let's try it out. Oh, already made a mess. This is a glorious bite. Mamma mia. Oh, buon appetito. Oh wow, this is so comforting. So good. And a bangat, yeah? And a bangat, boo. And a pa. Nga. And a. Oh, so comforting. Oh. The difference in texture with the noodles, the chicken, everything goes along very well. The elegant and gentle broth that brings everything together very well. I honestly, I underestimated it. I thought I wasn't going to like it that much, if I had to be honest with you. I, not only do I like it, I love it. Now, let's go for the fried one. I really want a bit of the chili. Buon appetito, guys. Mm. 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 You cannot go wrong with the um, with migore in general, but this one I think has been taken to an all another level because of the chicken, because they're mixing the noodles. I love the chili, I love the achar, the pickles, especially it's been cooked the traditional way with cold, so slow cook, it gives them extra smokiness to it. Honestly speaking, before even trying them, I thought I was going to like more the fried version because I'm a Nigoran kind of guy. But actually, I think this one is even better. This one is more special. I think the broth, it's a burst of flavor, a burst of joy. This is really a lovely dish. I'm loving Jogja so much and this is what Jogja is all about. Traditions, keeping the tradition still alive to this day. And I love it, really love it, I'm so happy. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next week. Ciao.